Loch Sloy, the slogan that rallied the Macfarlands in the past, means today another kind of power in Scotland. From the hills that mark the boundaries of Pict, Scott and Britain, water trapped in a man-made lake becomes power as the Loch Sloy project comes to hand. 160 feet high stands the dam, a concrete cliff to gather and conserve the waters from the hills and send 200,000 tons an hour down to the power station below. Two miles through Ben Vollick, they tunnel through rock and granite to lead the water to the valve house. With a 1,500 foot fall, the rate of flow must be controlled or the weight of water will wreck the station below. At full flow, the pressure will be 400 pounds per square inch and into Loch Lomond, the water will empty when its work is done. For Mr. Daniels, the resident engineer, it's a proud moment. The turbines of the power station are ready to sing into life and deliver 132,000 volts to central Scotland. For five years, man battled with nature. In fair weather and storm, he fought a battle worthier than any bloodied field of history. A battle of peace, to harness nature to serve men's needs. 